The sky's the limit. That is the mission of a new program over at Baltimore's Polytechnic Institute. The Empowerment Through Aviation program puts students on the path towards earning a private pilot certification. Perhaps more than that, it shows young women and students of color there's a place for them in the aviation field. And joining us now is Colonel Gina Humble, United States Air Force retired, also Captain Michael Jacobson, and Cadet First Lieutenant Ava Lewis. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Even as a City College guy talking about a poly uh, program, I'm a little jealous. This is a lot of fun, empowerment through aviation. Tell me a little bit about it. I'm actually going to direct that question to Mike. He is the executive director for Empowerment Through Aviation. It is his vision <laughs> to bring this opportunity to our students in Baltimore City. Thanks. Thanks, Colonel Humble. Yeah, so to answer that question, Empowerment Through Aviation, uh, we, we founded uh, ETA, as we call it, in uh, memory of my late wife, Bridget. Bridget was uh, very involved in the community. Um, she was a mentor to young women. Uh, in uh, Baltimore City. Uh, and she was also, as an African-American woman, she was kind of a, a member of a select group as a pilot. She was a former Navy pilot. So unfortunately, Bridget passed away in 2019. Uh, we wanted to do something uh, that would create sort of a lasting memory uh, to, to her legacy. And we came up with uh, empowerment through aviation. So ETA was founded to, with the vision of sort of inspiring young women from Baltimore City uh, Public Schools to enter uh, aviation careers and STEM fields in general. And uh, early on in our planning uh, phase, we reached out to Baltimore City Public Schools. Uh, the Work-Based Learning Office quickly recognized that a, a partnership with uh, Air Force Junior ROTC and with Colonel Humble and the cadets there would have uh, a ton of synergies. And so that's uh, where the program uh, Took, took off, pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> and Colonel, it, it was it worked out because the framework at Poly was already there for Junior ROTC, and then you took that curriculum uh, and, and just kept moving with it, yeah? Absolutely, and that's the beauty of our program, the concepts that they learn in our classroom, especially when it comes to flight fundamentals. Now we're able to put that into practice using our flight simulator, which is behind us, as well as through uh, Mike's program, Empowerment Through Aviation. Ava, I'm a flight junkie, so I know that, I mean, just getting on a plane to, you know, fly to Florida would be, would be fun, but to pilot that plane is a whole nother thing. But where the interest come from for you? Um, I think I've always been interested, but seeing how easy it would be for me to actually have the opportunity is where the interest spiked for me. Yeah, and Michael, the word opportunity is big here because not only it starts at poly, but it goes beyond there into college. Yeah. Yeah. Well, certainly we want to, we want to build links uh, for the young people that take part in our programs and as well as the rest of uh, the folks who don't uh, the rest of Colonel Humble's cadets there and then folks from other high schools, but we definitely want to connect them with follow on programs. And there's, there's uh, no shortage of possibilities even here in the region. So as, uh, as Ava, as cadet Lewis mentioned, uh, Delaware state university has an aviation program. University of Maryland Eastern Shore has an aviation program and uh, CCBC also does. And Colonel, you get pretty in depth. I mean, they, they leave with a wealth of knowledge when they get out there graduating from, from high school. They do. Um, our curriculum actually is, is uh, two tiered. We have leadership education and then we have our aerospace science curriculum. Because really junior ROTC is about leadership and character development. Mm -hmm. And so we are sending these kids, you know, after they graduate out with a host of soft skills, if you will, and life skills that they'll have and be able to apply in any career field, STEM or otherwise. So Ava, what comes, what, I'm sorry, I should call you by your rank. I should call you Cadet First Lieutenant. Well, for you, what do you envision after high school and after, I mean, you've gotten a scholarship, it sounds like going to college. Do you, do you wanna be a fighter pilot or what do you wanna do? I don't know about fighter pilot, but I, <laughs> I think I'll use this opportunity to maybe major in piloting and also go into the Air Force and have an easier experience going into piloting there. Had it not been for this program, uh, Lieutenant, would you have ever even imagined this being a part of your life? No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> what, what was on your mind before you had this opportunity? I didn't have any specific ideas. I just knew I would like to go to the Air Force and do ROTC in college. Sure. So 
that was probably all that was on my mind. Right. Colonel, this is a lot about giving a kid a direction. Uh, I think that is, is it's pretty inspiring, actually. It is, and although the junior ROTC program isn't about recruiting students into the military, again, it's about character and leadership development. Um, we do provide them the information about our military services so that they can make an informed decision. Sure. But either way, my goal is to make the most well-rounded student as they graduate and go off and do great things. And Michael, last one for you. Do you see this growing? Could this possibly end up in a, another high school? Uh, well, there, the, there's limitless possibilities for growth, and we're, we're super excited with, with this was our first year. This was the, the inaugural year for our operations. We just uh, were in the middle, actually, of phase one, but we had 15 uh, seventh grade students from three different Baltimore City middle schools go flying last week. Wow. They took introductory flight lessons last week. So we're wrapping up the phase one portion of the program. The the partnership we have with Colonel Humble and uh, Junior Rossi there at Poly is our phase two. So we're excited to kick that off uh, within the next six weeks. Our phase three is eventually designed to get a couple of people, Cadet Lewis's age, all the way to private pilot certification. We'll be putting your website online on our, our website once this airs. Thank you to the three of you. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Hey, Ava, good Thank luck to you. Thank you.